hello and welcome welcome to the month of may and the theme this month is mindfulness so centuries ago the art of mindfulness and meditation was a sacred pursuit primarily confined to monasteries where nuns and monks devoted themselves to silent introspection for extended periods in those times the path to inner peace seemed only for those who chose a life of living in seclusion so fortunately these days things have evolved so much and in today's times mindfulness practices exceed convents or nunneries and you no longer have to be on a path of any kind of religious devotion and mindfulness has become a part of everyday living it's around it's everywhere these days it's been around for quite a while actually but it's becoming more and more more popular because we need it we really do need it these days and um, mindfulness as i said has become a part of everyday living inviting people from all walks of life to embrace it as a practice the history of mindfulness runs deep enriched with eastern philosophies beyond meditation mindfulness embodies a state of heightened awareness it's a way of being attuned to the present moment that transcends the boundaries of religious teachings, as I mentioned before. And this is how it shares a lot of similarities with haiku as far as having that awareness and being in the moment. For many of the Western in the Western world, the path to learning mindfulness comes from ancient wisdoms in the in the East. Most of modern Western practice, practitioners and teachers of mindfulness learned about mindfulness from Buddhist and Hindu traditions that date back in time, way back in time. And mindfulness came from the East to the West from one of the biggest influencers by the name of John Kabat-Zinn, who is an American professor and a teacher of mindfulness and is in, in health. And when it first came to North America, mindfulness encountered a lot of skepticism. Some dismissed it as a passing trend similar to the arrival of yoga, but time has proven otherwise and mindfulness has endured. I don't think it's going anywhere soon and its popularity continues to deepen as humanity evolves especially during the current storms and the state of the world today. In times of uncertainty and distress, the need for quiet moments and inner strength has become even more necessary. Mindfulness and the simple gift of haiku offers you a way to find peace amidst the storm, giving you a message of hope, guiding you towards serenity and resilience. Do you have a regular mindfulness practice? Sunrise mist, yesterday's fragrance still on my skin. Sunrise mist, yesterday's fragrance still on my skin. So I'm wishing you a wonderful week and I will be posting another video next week. So I will see you then.